All right, everyone's flipping out about HR six six nine, and we're all emailing. But um, like Ralph Davis said in his video, which you need to watch it. Um, they're deleting it or spamming our video, our emails. So um, here's the sample letter on U.S. Arc. See, um, delete this before you send it off. Um, on here, I would put the committee member because there's 21, 21 members, and I'd make 22 letters for the simple fact that you need to send this off to your own representative, your own district's representative, or your own states, unless you live in California, which that would be tremendous. Um, so it's like down here, your name, um, delete this, put your name. This lists all the important points that you know we've been preaching. Uh, you don't have to do this. Um, make your own personal letter. Uh, one of the things they kind of forgot to put in here um, that I feel is important, uh, the conservation part of the, all this, um, all amphibians are going to go extinct out in the wild because of cryptid. You want an amphibian? Post a video of you know how good amphibians are to us. You know, do a little research on your own. Do your do some homework. It won't take you long. Um, you know, let's face it. If they asked for, if like say, oh, white tree frogs went and went extinct in the wild right now, today, tomorrow, they would have enough to repopulate the entire wild population overnight because there's that many in the pet trade. There's that many to spare. You know, ball pythons, all of those. We would have enough to where we could get them out there, we can do all this stuff for the animals because let's face it, we love them. We'd love to see our favorite animal out in the wild. As a result, we do it, even if we never got to. It lists all the representatives. Um, this one chairman from Guam's always proposing exotic bands. She's the head honcho of Banamal. And you re she may not respond to this, but what, you know, Ralph Davis, like he said, you know, let's take a, just wheelbarrow the letters in. Um, watch his video. It gives you a lot of instructions. Put the postage and everything on it. Send it to your own representative, and on your representative, show how this will affect your state. Um, read their bio. That helps relate it to them. Like, he got a degree in business, okay, show them the business side of our hobby. They got a degree in medical, show them the medical benefits of our hobby. All those little things help us, because they need to understand it. I Like, these main points, it's pretty clear. They're not dealing with an easy-to-solve problem. It's You can't take a pen and, you can't take a little pencil and erase it. This thing is going to take some time to get rid of. Uh, and it kind of shows them it's not really right. Um, put in there the conservative side of all this. Like, all Radigodalis are protected by sites. The entire genus of Radigodalis. And how private breeders are having more success in breeding them than the zoos do a lot of the times. Uh, there's more Madagascar tree bows, I think, in, capti in captive private collections than there are in zoos. As a result, let's face it, you know, the we have a bigger population than most zoos do and most zoos can't handle the sheer volume that they need to. And they don't have the genetic diversity that they need. They know that. So they kind of, you know, if we started getting with the zoos, we'd see better results with our stuff. We know that already. Um has all the names and addresses of the 20 members. You need to put that on each and end of every letter. Uh, your own return address. Yeah, they th Don't think because you put your name down here that they're going to come take away your animal. And give this, give the bill to small animal people, to fish people. Get with the people that own these other animals and explain to them what's happening. Um, I went to a public event with my tegu lizard and people weren't afraid of him. They were actually interested in him. 
very interested. I couldn't go five feet without someone stopping me and asking me for a picture or to pet him. And I, he's totally socialized. It took me a while, about nine months, but I got him there and he was fine. I knew when he'd had enough and at that point no one was allowed to touch him or mess with him. But I helped educate people about them, you know, like some people, well, how can I get one? I was like, well, you need to do your research. They're very difficult to deal with, you know. I mean, he eats two pounds every feeding. And it's very, you have to be very careful with their feet, their food and all that. You have to be willing to get bloody, which they asked me if there was any way around that. I was like, no, you have to be willing to get bloody and touch insects and all that. If you can't handle that, they aren't for you. Um, that's kind of how I feel about every animal. If you can't handle the blood and the gore and all that, don't get it. Even if you like it, it's not going to make you happy. You're going to hate the animal every time you feed it because you have to deal with it. Uh, but show your conservative side. Go, do some research on your animals. See which ones are endangered. and Like the ones from Australia. We can't ever take them back to Australia. Australia's got laws against that. As a result, you need to put that in your video. Like you just be killing all of them. It's not right. Um, if you have a morphed animal, show that animal. Say you can't release this back in the wild because it will die. It doesn't have the natural coloration. Even though this is natural, we've naturally discovered it. None of it's 